Hey, what is going on everybody? Today we are going back to the awesome Saw Guys Spillway. Also, fun fact, I checked fish brain, and there's actually wipers here too. So that's exciting, maybe we can catch a wiper today. But yeah, last time we were here, I caught two really nice Saw Guy, both of them were over 20 inches. They both like tied my PB length, but I didn't have a scale. I still don't have a scale. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can beat that today. There's, I know there's some really nice ones in here. Like I said, maybe we catch a wiper. I don't know, maybe I catch a flathead or smallmouth bass. I don't know, but I am super excited to fish this spot, guys. It is gonna be a good time and we are gonna catch fish, so stick around. One thing about this spot is there's like a ridiculous amount of flies. Once you get down to the water, that is, you kind of have to wear a net gator. All right, guys, I only took a couple casts up close to this spillway because there's somebody else fishing there. Still got the Bill Lewis rattle trap on. Gonna be throwing it a little further downstream. This is where we we're catching the really nice saw guy last night. So let's make it happen again. Got a little more daylight, so you're gonna be able to see it a lot easier this time. Assuming I catch him, that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the bottom, that's not a fish. All right, y'all, was not getting any bites on that mini rattle trap. Now we're gonna be using this guy. This is a little Strike King KVD 1.5 square bill, or that, this actually might be a 1.0, but it's basically just a little wake bait. Doesn't have any rattles, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's super bright in chartreuse, so they should be able to see it. Boy, does it pick up a bunch of crap though. Oh my gosh. Yikes. It's gonna be like this every cast. So I'm not gonna be able to use it. I just strung my entire rod and I forgot to go through that. Oh my goodness. All right guys, I just retied both my poles. I put this back on the bait caster and then I'm gonna use a twister tail on the spinning rod, but I'm gonna go over there up to the spillway and I'm gonna try over there. It's a little deeper, so I think when I use the uh, square bill over there, it's not gonna get quite as hung up in the weeds. Well, that's a snag, that's not a fish. Got me all excited. Okay, I'm actually gonna walk onto this middle part. It's super slippery. Also, what's with the hot dogs? Somebody went catfishing and just dumped all their stuff. All right, guys, I'm like standing on the middle now. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is. Like, what is the point of this? It's like two, three inches deep here, but then you go right in front of me here. I think it's like four or five feet deep. I don't know, Let me leave me a comment if you know what this thing is or like what its purpose is. All right, back down to the little part. Got one, got one. Big fish. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish, guys. That's a big fish. I, I can feel head shakes, so it's probably, I think it's hooked legit. Yep, yep, yep. Big saw guy, big saw guy. Bigger than the ones yesterday. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe not bigger. It's like the same size, but that's a dang nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. Look at that freaking fish. Look at that thing. Also, look at the cloud of gnats. Like what the... Dude, if I didn't have a face shield right now, I would be screwed. Oh my gosh. That is a straight up trophy, dude. That might actually be a sauger. No, it's got the white tip. That's a saw guy. Look at that thing. Yeah, you know what's funny? They say that twister tails are like the best walleye slash saw guy bait. This is the first one I've ever caught on a twister tail. Like, seems kind of weird, but whatever. I'm hyped, guys. I'm so hyped. I'm gonna set that there. All right, got it on the phone. Let me get it on this camera. Look at that thing, y'all. All right, let's measure them. Really hard to measure on this like sloped surface. Tastes like fish. Yummy. Okay. Y'all, look at that. They're all cookie cutter. This one's actually a tiny bit bigger. This one's almost 20 and a half. 
They're all 20 and a quarter. Guys, every single one of these fish, and I have caught three now at this spot, are all 20 and one quarter inches. This one was like almost a 20 and a half inches, but like, what? Why are they all the exact same size? Why can I not unhook them? All right, let me in, dude. I'm like playing dentist right now. All right, got it. One more time, baby. Look at that. All right, we're gonna get the release now, which I don't even think you guys will be able to see, but like, gonna turn the camera there regardless. 20, almost 20 and a half inches. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that. Glides off. Let's go, baby. Dude, if you guys need a good fishing spot, you seriously just gotta look at Google Maps and just freaking try everywhere you see. This is like the seventh spot I've tried this year. And only yesterday was the first time I caught one. Actually, this might be the eighth spot. Guys, I'm just telling you, I've caught, or I have tried so many rivers. I have tried so many spillways. I've tried so many different places before I found this place. And I could not catch crap all winter. You probably already saw the video where I caught two creek chubs. I was like a thousand percent convinced I was gonna catch walleye at that dam. I don't know how they weren't there, but if they are there, I didn't catch them. But yeah, I went to a bunch of places like that, could not find any. Finally found this place, so glad I did. Once again, that guy bit on the little, once again, that guy bit on the little three inch twister tail, one eight ounce jig. Super nice fish. He looked more like a sauger, but he had the white tip. So I think they're all definitely saw guy. And I know they stalk saw guy in this lake. So that would make sense why they spill over. Also, a lot of people think that saw guy can't reproduce, but they actually can reproduce. And you could look that up on the internet. They do. I don't know why that's relevant. I just figured I'd say it, but dude, I still have a ton of time to fish. The bite's usually best like a half hour before sunset. I guess that's actually right now, so that would make sense. But I still have like probably 30, 40 minutes to fish. I'm probably gonna stay till dark. Yes, let's get more. Now this is a super rocky place, so you do have to check your line every so often. Mine still feels pretty decent, so we're gonna keep fishing with it. Actually, I thought I had a lot longer. I did. I thought it was like, if I had to guess, I would have said it was like 6.15 right now, but it's actually 6.45. So the sun does set in 15 minutes, or actually maybe like 20 minutes nowadays. It is spring, spring has sprung. Can we talk about how like awesome the weather is right now? I mean, it was 73 degrees today and it's March. Like this has been one of the coldest winters we've had in a while, at least in my opinion. I mean, there's tons of ice fishing going on. I'm snagged. I really need this lure back. Please don't come off. I'm gonna walk down and try to get it. Oh no, if it doesn't come off at this angle, it's not coming off. Yeah, there it goes. That's a bite, that's a bite. Oh, come on. Maybe not. I don't know. I might be crazy. Sure felt like a bite. Is this a dumb thing to do? Maybe. But I really want this lure back. The only reason I say this is, could be dumb is because the floor here is so slippery, as you might imagine. Concrete with water running over it. Got her. All right, I keep getting snagged on that twister tail. Let me try this square bill again. Shoot, I'll probably just get snagged on this too, but it is what it is. Got one. I didn't set the hook, I thought it was a rock. Oh, that one's like running. That might not be a saw guy. No, it is, it is. Oh, that's a big fish too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm slipping. Stay pinned. Let's go, he stayed pinned. That one looks a lot different. That one looks a lot more like a walleye, like the coloration of it. All right, that one hit the square bill. All right, guys, this one hit the square bill. Yeah, the coloration on this one, it looks a lot more like a walleye than the last one did. I mean, it's not, they're all saw guy, you know, but look at that, dude. Oh my gosh, he was like barely hooked. Dude, he was barely hooked. What? Let's measure him. Okay, this one's a tiny bit smaller. He's just barely over 20, but they're all like the same size. They are all super nice fish. I'm gonna be honest, at some point, I think I'm gonna come here and do a catch and cook. Look at those meaty cheeks on him, boy. So squishy. 
they call those uh, they call those cheek nuggets you actually you can pull those out you can cut those out and eat them all right guys look at that beastly fish insane these are probably my second favorite fish i said at one time i said smallmouth were my second favorite fish i don't know i don't even know dude these things are so cool okay let's release them freaking awesome saw guy right there nice thick one another 20 incher good spring belly on him look at that Ooh, feisty i love it man it's crazy guys in the evening the bite for these things just like turns on yeah if you're having trouble catching like walleye saw guy sauger dude just fish at night or fish like half hour before sunset to half hour after sunset that's like prime time i think i have like 10 minutes of light left maybe really would like to catch one more three nice fish would be awesome for a video got him oh oh i just lost one I just lost one. I only had him on for like a second, so maybe he'll bite again. <sighs> that may have been a fish. That may have been a fish. What is going on? Something just like schwacked my crankbait and got it all funky. Crankbait, or is that a wake bait? I guess it's technically a wake bait, isn't it? Cause it's like a KVD 1.0. Guys, it is getting really dark though, so I'll probably do like five more casts. No, nah, nah, I'll do 10 more casts. I'll do 10 more casts. Give it a good shot to catch one more. But I am starting to get eaten by mosquitoes. Really don't want that to happen. It's also, the thing is, when it gets that dark, you can't see anything on the video anyways. Guys, because when it gets that dark to where the camera can't even see me fish, it's like, what's the point? Like, I don't catch fish to catch fish, y'all. I catch fish to post it on YouTube for internet clout, okay? This isn't, this isn't like a sportsman thing, guys. I'm trying to get ad revenue. I'm just kidding y'all. Believe it or not, I actually do really like fishing. Just trying to be funny, okay? Trying to be engaging. Trying to keep the viewers' attention. Got one. Got one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's ripping drag. That is holy cow, what? No! No! Okay, guys. I I'm sure you could see on this camera that thing was ripping drag. That was a huge fish. What the heck was that? This is a small enough area. I wonder if I just like snagged a big flathead or something because that was crazy. I mean, that was literally ripping drag. I saw like a big boil come up. That's why I think I was foul hooked because when it changed directions and went that way, the hook just popped out and it should have been in there really good because I mean, you know, I was freaking setting against it. I think more than likely I probably foul hooked a big catfish, but I, you know, you can't know. That was insane though. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I guess I, should I put my drag higher? I don't know. How do you, how do you catch that fish in that situation? I wonder if it was a gar. I know there's really big gar in these rivers over here. That's a snag. Well, I just slipped and fell a little bit into the river. I was literally, right when that happened, I was thinking about how I should slow down because I'm going to slip. <sighs> I was just thinking about how I shouldn't go down there that fast. I should like calm down. I'm kind of hyped right now because of all these fish. But I was just thinking that and then sure enough, I slipped in. That's, I think that might be the first time I've like ever fallen into a river. I mean, it wasn't that bad though. I only got soaked like up to my like left butt cheek. But I am kind of wet right now and I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. Plus I just broke off that crankbait and I don't feel like retying. And I mean, I'm sure it's hard for you guys to see anyways. So I'm gonna call it on that one. I'm gonna head out. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was entertaining. Super thankful for this spot that I found. This place is awesome. I will be back here a ton guys. So if you like this spot, there's more videos to come. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.